Hey guys, on this next video, I uh, just want to kind of talk to you real quick. We covered about oil, engine oil, uh, and you know the purpose of, of it is, and what as far as its flow rate, and uh, some of the symbols, and, and of course API rating. Now this one happens to be a SAE 10 weight, uh, 10W30. Don't forget, uh, the W stands for winter. The 10 is what the uh, viscosity is when the engine is cold. The 30 on the other side, on the right side, indicates what the viscosity is when the engine oil temperature gets a little bit hot. So it's got a little bit more resistance to flow. Uh, it's not too thin, so it doesn't cause excessive wear on our bearings and all lubricating metal parts that are in the engine. If I can notate this back over here. Uh, right here, of course, we talked about the API service rating. Uh, this has to be stamped on, on every uh, oil that you buy. When you buy oil, make sure you see that stamp on it. Uh, this one, of course, is the American Petroleum Institute uh, service number. So uh, this one conforms with the SN, SM, SL, and SJ. And if you look in your textbook uh, we, on the uh, oils, we kind of see where what range this kind of works with as far as vehicles go. So you can see, uh, I know SN for sure is going to be from 2001 and all the way up to late model cars. So um, kind of read that, guys, because that's kind of important. Uh, to understand what we're actually putting in our vehicle, just make sure we look up the correct type of oil that um, the, the manufacturer requires for our particular vehicle or the, on a customer's car that you're working on. Uh, and uh, don't let a customer say, well, I want to change this oil and go with a, a different type of oil. Uh, don't, don't do that because it can cause some problems with the pressure relief valve uh, and the oil filter assembly. So, uh, and of course, uh, it may cause some sludge build up uh, long term on the engine. So this covers uh, engine oils, guys. So you guys be careful and have a safe, safe uh, day today.